Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create this cool pulse loading animation in Adobe XD. Before that, I have divided this video into two sections. The first one is about the basic understanding of dash and gap. The second one is the actual tutorial. Free to skip this actual tutorial if you know about dash and gap. Make sure you download the project file to follow along this tutorial and links are in the description below. Let's get started. The dash represents the length of a line part, whereas the gap represents the space between each part. Here, I'm creating a straight line. When I change the dash value of the line to 10, the line is now split into 10 parts of the gap value 10. Now I'm increasing the gap value and you can see the distance between the dashes are increasing and most of the dashes become invisible. That is because the width of the straight line is fixed. You can see the other dashes by increasing the width of the line. When we try to create an animation between the straight lines of the dash and gap values, it will look like this. We are going to use the same method in this tutorial and let's dive into this. Open the project file, create an artboard of any size of your choice. Change the background color and now bring the heart icon from the assets panel into the artboard. Resize the icon and change its color. By using the pen tool, draw the pulse shape. One eternity later. Bring the shape into the art board. Now change the color and rename it. Consider this as an active one. Duplicate the shape. and change the color of the second one. Now we have two similar shapes with different color. The gray one will act as a background. Duplicate the background shape and bring it to the front. Now this will make the actual one hide. You will see it once when you're done with the prototype. Bring the heart icon to the front and add border. The border color should be the same as the background color. This will make it look like there is a gap between the heart icon and the shape.
Now change the gap value of the first two pulse shapes to 2000. By using the text tool, create the loading text and apply the character style from the assets panel. Draw a rectangle shape over the text. And now select both rectangle and text then click Ctrl plus Shift plus M to mask them with shape. Reduce the rectangle width to hide the dots in the text. Duplicate the artboard Here change the dash value of the pulse shape at the top to 700 And the middle ones value to 4000 Increase the width of the rectangle And now, switch over to the prototype mode. Create a time trigger with de delay 0 seconds from the first start mode. Change the type to auto animate. Easing to easing out. And duration to 4 seconds. From the second art board, create a time trigger, hence. Here, change the type to transition easing to none and duration to 0 0.2 seconds. Now, click Preview to see the outcome. Here we go! You can adjust the speed and length of the line animation by adjusting the dash and the gap value. That's all for today's video, people. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Drop a like and share it with your designer friends. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. If you have any queries, please share with me in the Instagram. And links to my social accounts are in the description. See you next time in another video. Until then, bye from James. Ta-da! Ta-da! Ta-da-da!